In this video, I'll show you how to download and install OpenAI Whisper Models for offline transcription in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, let's assume we've already downloaded and installed Subtitle Edit. To download models to use, you'll need to go to Video, click on Audio to Text Whisper. And once you do that, you may be prompted to download maybe an engine uh, that is going to power up uh, the models that you're going to download. So, for example, right here, I'm using the ConstMe engine because it kind of uses my GPU and makes transcription and subtitling videos faster. Uh, let's say I click on that. And for the model, you need to see what models you have. By default, you don't have any model. So, you'll need to click on these three dots here. And once you do that, this allows you to download Whisper models. You can download the tiny.en and anything with a .en is English models. But if I click on the drop down, you can see tiny, base.en, base, and so on and so forth. Let's assume I go with a base and click on download. Now it's going to download this particular base model. Depending on the model, let's say the tiny ones have less accuracy, need less RAM, but are a little bit faster and all that. If you go for the larger models, they are more accurate and more useful for complex scenarios. So. Uh, and also use a, a ton of RAM on your computer. So if you don't have the RAM, then go for the smaller models. Uh, they may have less accuracy, but they're still going to work where you need them. So I've already downloaded my model and it's installed. So if I actually like to use it, I'll just click on it and then click on generate right there. So it's going to show me transcribing and it's done because it's a short video right there. If you'd like to select a different model, click on video audio to text whisper, it's going to prompt you to save the changes. I'm going to say no. And then let's say we go with a small model and click on generate as well. It's also going to do a quick job All right there. Uh, and there'll be differences depending on the model that you use. So if I go actually go for the larger models, I may get a better, uh, uh, more or less transcription based on how it's going to uh, go through my accent and all that. But that is how you can download and install OpenAI Whisper models in Subtitle Edit when doing offline transcription and subtitling. That's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thanks for watching.